Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will construct a fractional flow curve and we will use relative permeability curve. So fractional flow is a very useful analysis, for example, to predict the water cut using the water saturation information. Okay, and first we will check the relative permeability. We get the information for the relative permeability from the special core analysis okay we perform the the measurement and then we extract or we get the data for the relative permeability curve okay for example here in uh, in our case we have the core with sample id of x just for example and the core was taken from sample depth at this 3000 foot or 3000 feet and the permeability to air of that core is 2,800 millidarcies with porosity of 30%. So it's quite good. And the initial water saturation, for example, 14.04. Okay. And the effective permeability to oil is 1,950. Again, millidarcies. Okay. And this is at initial water saturation. Okay. And of course, the main course. The data is the relative permeability table. In this case, we already have the data. We have three columns. The first column is the water saturation. So the Conat water saturation is 14%. And the highest water saturation is, in this case, 62.59%. And on the middle column, we have the relative permeability to water in fraction. So of course, at the Conat water saturation, there is no water flow. So the relative permeability to water is zero. And in this case, at the highest water saturation value, the, the maximum or the highest, the, the endpoint water relative permeability is 0 0.3393. And on the last column, we have relative permeability to oil. And at critical or at Conat water saturation, the relative permeability to oil is at the highest. This is the endpoint relative permeability to oil. This is the maximum and the value is one. So it's quite good for the oil. And at the highest water saturation, the relative permeability to oil is very small. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, so from this table, of course, we can construct the relative permeability curve very easy. So I plot that on the horizontal axis, we have water saturation. And on the vertical axis, we have both relative permeability curves. So let me just modify a little bit. I want the maximum value to be 1, okay, because relative permeability, the maximum is, of course, 1. And this one is for relative permeability to water. I colored it blue. Okay, so good. And this one, relative permeability to oil. Okay, let me change the color to green. I love it to be green. Okay. And also for the fill. Okay, good. And then, yes, we want to check the lesion. So it's like this. Okay, so this is the relative permeability curve. So from the relative permeability curve, we now go to proceed to construct the refraction of flow. But before that, I want to just show you the basic. Okay, so the first thing is, of course, what fractional flow is. So fractional flow is FW. Simply put, it's water cut. It's the flow rate divided by the total flow rate. Okay, flow rate of water, I mean. So QW divided by the QW plus QO. Okay, and then using, of course, the, the theory. Okay, we know using Darcy's equation, we know the flow rate of oil and flow rate of water can be analyzed or can be described using this equation. You can see this KO is effective permeability to oil and KW effective permeability to water. 
and viscosity for oil and water. Okay, and the fractional flow okay, starts here. I will not go into the detail, okay? But yeah, the, 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 the general form of fractional flow is like this. Okay, and you can see we have the Q total there. And you see the fractional flow is determined or influenced by the effective permeability and also the viscosity and the density difference between the displaced fluid and displacing fluid. In this case, the displaced fluid is oil, whereas the displacing fluid is the water. And PC is, of course, the capillary pressure. But in many cases, we can neglect the, the PC, okay? And alpha is the, the angle between, actually, between the inject. I mean, alpha is the dip, yeah, the reservoir dip. Okay, so if you have perfectly horizontal uh, reservoir, so sin, the sinus of this horizontal reservoir will be zero. Okay, sin of zero degree is zero. Okay, and that's actually what our case is. Later I will show you. And yeah, to make it more comfortable, we change the effective permeability to relative permeability. So that's why we get this one. Okay, so KO is actually K multiplied by KRO. So I just expand the KO relative effective permeability to oil, ex I expanded to the absolute permeability multiplied by the relative permeability. And I do the same thing here. Okay. And as I said before, capillary pressure, in many cases, we can neglect it. Okay. Change in capillary pressure. So that's why we get this zero here. Okay. And the plus sign here, is changed to minus, okay? Because we have zero here. And let's say our, the reservoir dip is zero, okay? So it's not a tilt reservoir, it's a horizontal, perfectly horizontal reservoir, for example. So we get this, this term will be zero because everything, anything if, uh, multiplied by sinus of zero will be zero. So this one will be zero, okay? And it simplifies our model a lot. Okay, so I just erase that, okay? Of course, it's a simplification, right? But yeah, many things in engineering world are, are simplified, okay, here. Yeah. So what I have left is this one. So fractional flow, Fw is 1 divided by something below there, okay? Something down there, 1 plus the ratio of relative permeability, relative permeability to oil divided by relative permeability to water multiplied by the viscosity of water divided by viscosity of oil. So this is from, from a very general form, we can reduce and simplify it to only get this form, which is very, very easy, okay? So you can see to construct fractional flow, what you need is only the relative permeability information and viscosity information, okay? And of course, you also know the viscosity. If you don't have value for viscosity of water, most of the time, you can just assume the viscosity of water to be one. But of course, you must have viscosity of oil. Okay, you, I'm sure you will have data. So it's not a problem actually to construct a fractional flow curve. Okay, so let's go to the fractional flow construction. Here, I just copy paste the relative permeability table. Okay, we have the data in the first three columns and the last column is the calculated one. Just use this formula. Oh, let me erase it first. Okay, I don't have my curve there. So let's just 
use the formula. Oh yeah, but before that, I already have the data for the viscosity of water. It is one, fortunately, and viscosity of oil is 0 0.9. So it's good. In this case, the viscosity of oil is lower than viscosity of water. So in that regard, from viscosity point of view, my oil is more mobile compared to the, the water. All right. But of course, you need to combine it with the relative permeability, okay? To have the, the, the fluid rock influence on the movement, on the mobility of your uh, fluid, okay? Relative permeability and viscosity, and you will get the, the general or the, the representative view about the dynamics within the reservoir. Okay, so let's go to calculate the viscosity or, or fractional flow curve. It's of course one divided by open parenthesis, one plus, I will open parenthesis again, KRO, this one divided by KRW, closed, and then just multiplied it by viscosity of water there, use F4, put dollar on it, because we will use it again and again, divided by viscosity of water, I mean viscosity of oil, F4, put dollar on it, close, and then close again. Okay, so it's of course like this, because we have the term that is 1 divided by 0, okay, so it cannot be, all right, divide by 0 error, okay, but that's okay, we can just track it like this and we have the data you can decrease this decimal if you want and just change it to zero manually okay so that's it you have the fractional flow or maybe you can expand increase decimal okay so it's like this and let's just delete the plot Let's construct it from zero, insert, and then I want to use this one, scatter, maybe this one, okay, scatter with smooth lines and markers, all right, and then right click and select data, I will name it fractional flow curve, sorry, All right, and then series X, the horizontal axis, is of course the water saturation, whereas the series Y, vertical axis, is the fractional flow. Click on OK, and then click this one, and then use axis title, and then this one is SW in percentage, and this one is the fractional flow. Okay, dimensionless. Okay, just change the color to black. And this one format axis, just change the maximum value to be one to make it more correct. Okay, and number, decrease the decimal to only one. Okay, so it's like this and you have it. It's very simple. So this is how we can construct a fractional flow curve. Thank you.